find out. Come on, seriously, you guys. The food here is really expensive. The soup is fucking ten dollars. Come on, let's go outside. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. We're putting the band back together. Forget it. No way. We're on a mission from God. Hold it, hold it. What's this? Waiter, sir, please. Waiter. Yes, sir. How are your salads? The salads are fine. It's just that we'd, uh, we'd like to move to another table away from those two gentlemen. Why? Have they been disturbing you? No. It's just that, well, frankly, they're offensive. Smelling. I mean, they smell bad. Hey, look, you stand. Ooh, do I take the Thunderclap level one? I don't know. Let's see what we get first. Righteous Fury, that's perfect. Okay. I think I have everything I need now. Yeah, evasion's a good one. I, I always forget about evasion. And then the last thing we're gonna grab is healing touch. Two thousand years later. Chad, it doesn't exist. How is how is a common so rare? How is a common so rare? I don't understand. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck? Where the fuck is healing touch? Oh my god, there it is. Hey, we got an early rock fighter. Perfect. Uh, righteous defense is good. But we take redemption. Yeah, redemption so we don't see any more of the reses later. Hey, there's our mocking blow. Perfect. I gotta remember I'm prestiging for tank. I'm prestiging for tank. I'm prestiging for tank. We're going for taunt. We got sanctuary. Go, go. Do I take blizzard in case I don't get rain of fire? I take blizzard. Yeah, I take blizzard. Fuck it. Drain soul, sure. We might get a chance at a demon. Oh my god, I... That... God damn it! What am I supposed to do, chat? Oh, what am I supposed to do, chat? What am I supposed to do? I carded Chaos Bolt, but Void Walker. I mean, we don't have Soul Link, but like, do we even need Void Walker? Yeah, let's just go Chaos Bolt. Fuck it. I was definitely thinking, where the hell is Searing Pain? Who was it in chat? Who was it? Was it Tight? Tight? Were you the one that cursed me? Why don't you just curse me at the start of this run? I swear to God, I will find you. <laughs> I demand my searing pain. Oh, there's searing pain. Okay, look at that chat. Easy mode. Didn't even have to try. Now I demand rain of fire. Oh, I got my fire a thunderclap. I didn't I forgot about that. I forgot we needed that. So we'll do this into this. Into this. Wait, they wait, did they they kicked me! They kicked me, chat! Wait, they kicked me! <laughs> I've been kicked as the tank! I keep getting kicked! They keep kicked wait! I keep getting kicked! Stop! Stop kicking me! <laughs> he keeps kicking me in the dick! Why? Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? Alright, we found our first problem, chat! They won't stop kicking me! <laughs> what the fuck? That's not fair! I can't even use my abilities because they keep kicking me! Stop kicking me! Please. I'm trying, chat. I'm gonna die, chat. I'm dead, chat. <laughs> wow. I can't believe every single one of them kicked you in the dick. So, yeah, guys. Uh, caster tank works perfect. There's zero issues whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's talk shop. Let's talk the meat of this build, because I know that's what you came here for. You want to know how does this build tick? But before we get into that, honestly, I just really want to say, guys, we're really close to getting partner on YouTube. And I would really appreciate it if you enjoy what you're watching here today to give it a little bit of a subscribe. That helps me out a ton. Anyways, let's talk about talents. First thing we're going to talk about is Arms Warrior. Arms Warrior is the most basic thing. So we're following a two-handed parry tank package of Iron Will, Deflection, and Tactical Mastery. These are absolutely must. This is going to allow you to be tanky, parry, as well as hold stagger. In Fury Warrior, we're actually using Armor to the Teeth. This is for the best attack power ratios right now to work off of other talents that we're utilizing. Okay, let's talk Warlock Destruction talent. First is Intensity. Intensity is what's going to cause the pushback from your casting spells to be reduced by 100%. You need at least two talents into this. If you have Focus Aura, you can put one talent into this instead of two. Next is Shadow and Flame. Shadow and Flame just gives your Chaos Bolt more damage output. It also reduces the cooldown of Shadow Fury for mythic plus pushing. 
Next is Soul Leaps. This is the main concept of the build. So 30% of the damage that you cause actually heals you back and reduces the attack power of the target. Taking a physical hit while casting it will also increase your critical strike chance by 30%, guaranteeing a lot more crit. Bane is purposely used to reduce Chaos Bolt's cast time, as well as reduce the cost of your Warlock spells to keep mana up. Emberstone is a must, as this is going to increase your fire damage, as well as make it so that your Chaos Bolt gets reduced every time that you cast Searing Pain to do more damage. Last is Ruin. We take this because it increases the critical strike damage by 100%, and since we're doing 30% increased critical strike chance, this is a great benefit. Next, let's talk about Shaman. So in Enhancement, you want Mental Quickness. This is the bread and butter of our damage output. It's translating a lot of our attack power into spell power. In Restoration, you want to go with Focused Mind. Now, the main reason for this, as you just saw, is that in Dungeons, you get kicked a lot. And this will reduce it by 30% so you don't get interrupted. I also suggest taking a look at Burning Determination under Mage Fire Talents as this can make it so that you don't get interrupted as often. When you're in raids, you do not need these talents, and they can go into better talent points, such as Alacrity in Mage Arcane for more haste for attack speed. In Paladin, you have a couple options. Spiritual Attunement is your main mana gain. If you're struggling with mana, run Spiritual Attunement. When it comes to Touched by Light, this is your spell hit chance. If you do not have enough spell hit cap, which is 17%, make sure that you're investing talent points into this. You can slowly wean away from it if you don't need the hit. Blessing of Sanctuary isn't a talent, but I strongly recommend it as it helps me a ton in keeping my mana up by just parrying attacks. Next, let's talk about REs. So for the legendary RE for this run, I used Wild Fellfire. This is a great RE for the fact that it works off your Chaos Bolt, it gives you attack haste, and can do a little bit of AoE damage. Now, this Legendary RE honestly can be replaced with any Legendary RE that you want. If you have a better idea, you can absolutely run it and still use this core kit to work as a caster tank. Perilous Pain is a super needed epic when you're doing dungeons. It felt so good as a tank to be able to move while casting. Without this, I think it would be a much more sluggish gameplay, but you don't necessarily need it in raids if the mechanics don't require you to move as a tank. Defensive magic is an absolute must. It is required for you to be able to parry, block, and dodge while being hit by mobs while casting. Fearing Fire at the moment of this video was still showing as an epic, even though they have changed it to a rare. Once this is changed to a rare, what you can do is you can go with something like Crackling Thunder or any other epic that you feel is appropriate for your build. We take both Thunderstruck and Double the Pain to increase our damages of Thunderclap for AoE threat in dungeons, as well as the damage on our Searing Pain for single target threat. These both basically flip the modifiers for these abilities, so Thunderstruck allows Thunderclap to gain more spell power, and Double the Pain lets Searing Pain gain more from attack power. We take three points into Mental Quickness. This just makes our Mental Quickness give us more spell power. Uh, we took an extra point into Deflection just because we had a slot open since the Fearing uh, Fire. I would probably replace Deflection again with Crackling Thunder and keep Fearing Fire as our rare. And then Anger Management, we took two out of three. This is just a guarantee that we have enough Rage to Thunderclap at all times when we need that AoE Threaten. Now that we've gone over the build, I'm going to show some highlights of a Mythic Plus key run as well as raiding. Honestly, this tank feels really good as a raid tank. If you really just want to play something different and feel good about it, I recommend using this as a raid tank. Mythic Plus feels okay. You definitely want to run the Thunderclap. It's really needed for that AoE, but enjoy the clip. He reflected my spell. No! <laughs> Damn him! Damn him and his spell reflecting. How dare you spell reflect my tankiness? <laughs> Eat searing pain, motherfucker. I want to pull more mobs. I want to pull more mobs. I want to pull more mobs. Thank you. Thunderclap the mobs because they're all coming for us and they're gonna beat us up and I'm really scared because there's a bunch of them but I'm gonna thunderclap and pray that it's okay do an AoE stun to pray that it's okay we're doing a lot of AoE damage because we're a fucking damage tank oh my god that 14k oh my god he literally ate my chaos bolt he's immune to my chaos bolt oh my god healer's gonna I'm gonna die healer's not outranging mechanic why can't I why can't I mocking blow him? Oh, I'm broken. I'm fully broken, chat. Oh my god. I'm at, ah, I got broken at the end here when I died. I'm holding threat with no gear. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, can I Oh my god, I'm the fucking Oh my I'm a god tank. I'm a god look at me. Yeah, yeah, what what tank can do this? 
What tank can hit the boss? Yeah, look at me. Hitting the boss like a fucking baller. Hitting the boss like a motherfucking boss. Yeah, yeah, I bet your tank can't do this, Para. But your tank can't fucking hit the boss. So dumb, I love it. Look at you inadequate fools. Incapable of casting spells like a true tank. Oh my god, I can even pre-pull these. I can grab the threat before they even get here. That's the threat meter. Oh, look at that threat. Look at that threat. Moist over here trying to be the top dog. He can't even come close. And I'm being stunned. Single target. I'm unbeatable. This is 100% a fucking raid tank. <laughs> I'm not even thunderclapping. I don't even need a thunderclap. Huh?